the eyes. Welcome back to Classic Work. It, you can definitely tell it's raining today. I, I'd like to apologize first for not putting the video out for quite a while. Uh, School work and bad weather, as you can see. We've had an all time flood record here from where I'm at. And uh, anyways, I got a request the other day, well, it wasn't the other day, it was a few weeks back, on somebody wanting to know how to use this tool. This is a uh, T bubble gauge. And I was looking on the internet the other day and I noticed there was absolutely no videos on how to actually use this tool. Now, I'm not the best person to really talk about this one, but I'm going to show you a few basic things that I've learned, some tricks that I've learned with it that you can use it for. So let's take a look at it. The first thing I'm going to show you is what this what this tool's primary objective is. What you want to do is get you a little piece of plywood or some just little scrap piece of wood and you want to start putting some layout lines on it for different degrees. You can either use a speed square or you could use an angle finder or anything that will predict your angle movement. So I'm going to take my speed square over here. I'm going to draw a nice big 90 degree line. Okay, nice and bold so you can see it. Now on that one, I'm going to write on there 90 degrees so I don't get confused. On the next one, I'm going to come down here towards the back and put it at five degrees. So line it up right there. Big old bold line. And this one here will be five degrees. Okay. I'm going to do another one. Do it at 10 degrees. And you can do these every five degrees or you could do them every, you know, every degree if you wanted to. And the reason for this is, we got 10 here, we got 15 there. Okay. And the reason that you want to do this is this tool, its primary use, or what I use it for, is cutting dovetails. And I hand cut my dovetails. So if you want, say, a five degree dovetail, most commonly, uh, I think dovetails run like in the 12 to 10 degree range. So we'll put them. Put it at 10 for this one. And there you go. Now you got your setup for a 10 degree dovetail. Now you can do a whole bunch of lines. Different degrees, you can get half degrees, you can get, you know, 15 degrees in 36 minutes if you wanted to. But um, that's, that's one trick that I've learned and this is very, very handy. This is also good for setting, setting your, your angle finder rather than looking at that tiny little line right there trying to line all those little lines up and counting them you can use this for that as well Here's another great example of the T-bevel gauge. If you've got an angle right here, and say this is nailed down to maybe say a floor, and you can't take this, this up, and you need to figure out what angle this is right here, you can take your T-bevel gauge, and it doesn't matter what side you get on, either the inside or the outside, this will work. Take it and loosen it up, and push down your edge and make sure that it's good on the top and the bottom and after that you can take this tighten it up so it don't move come down here place it on something flat like this table right here then you can come back with a speed square and put your your edge across here and put your pivot over here where it's where it's against the t-bevel let me pull it down Okay, and you still really can't see it, but got it nice and lined up right here. And I'm gonna hold where it's at. And according to this, it's 30 degrees. 
So, we can double check that by picking this up. Checking. Thirty degrees. The last trick I'm going to show you is dealing with different types of angles. Now, this angle right here, this could be if you're using it to build an octagon, or you could be framing something that had this particular angle. What you can do is you can set your T bevel for that angle. So when you put it on there, you know that everything's running true. So if you're cutting these freehand, you might have a cut man that's not doing his job just right. And this joint right here looks, looks like the other one. I mean, it looks fine. And I mean, it fits good and everything, but if you take that T-bubble and you put it on there, you notice that's probably, uh, probably half an inch out. And that's only a two degree difference two degrees and if that was spanned over some distance it would really mess up your final dimension as you can tell that almost looks identical but like I said two degrees off that t bevel will find it pretty neat trick you know, I'll show one more time just to show you works every time well I hope y'all enjoyed this video on a little bit on the T-bevel um, I hope it clears up any questions that y'all may have been looking for and once again I only barely scratched the surface on everything that that tool was capable of but I hope but it should give you a good basics of learning your own tricks and, and ideas uh, I want to take a minute and uh, thank all of you guys out there for watching my channel I just ran over over a thousand subscribers a few weeks ago, and I'm I'm, I'm super happy about that. And thank y'all. None of this can be possible without you guys commenting and, and promoting me and sharing all of your your well sharing with your friends and stuff like that. And I just want to thank y'all personally. Um, I'm sorry I don't post videos every week. I, I do them when I can. I I should be a little bit more open this summer and I hope to get a lot more videos out there. Uh, once again from Classic Work, y'all take care and God bless.